Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching today. Today's topic is you need to be more valuable. You have to talk about value. So many times when coaching agents, I talk about, we talk about the things that they can do to win over buyers, win over sellers, beat their competition. But the reason people use us because people could buy houses themselves and sell houses themselves is our value. What is your value proposition? What is your value that you give to your clients? So the reason why I wanted to talk about this briefly today is that I'm getting these questions uh, a lot more over the last few days, the last week or so, because there's been a lot of things in the real estate news, if you, any realtor is watching this, if you haven't seen the news lately of what's going on, real estate news, but not to, to everybody else, is that there's been some question in lawsuits over the years uh, that just are getting settled by the big franchises, National Association of Realtors from class action lawsuits about sellers that, I, I won't go into details, I did videos on this, but just to get you updated of what this topic is about, sellers that weren't really 100% disclose exactly how much they were paying through commission to buyer's agents. Again, they were signing listing agreements, uh, just saying what their commission was, what they were paying, but didn't to say how much they were paying buyer's agents. So some attorneys got involved, some seller, you know, class action status of going after uh, franchises and National Association of Realtors because the they weren't explained. And this is my opinion of why this, I'm talking about this, they, they didn't explain the value of the buyer's agent and why sellers should compensate them exactly how much they should compensate them. So, in that lawsuit, basically, again, my interpretation of it is that it's going to become more open to sellers to decide if they're going to pay buyers agents up to more listing company, listing agents and companies to, to pay buyers agents uh, and offering commissions. Now, I'm not going to go into the whole thing of, the, of why it should be there, but the point I'm getting at and specifically to buyer's agents, because some agents are, are calling me going, or is, you know, I'm going to be a buyer's agent. Am I going to get paid? Who's going to pay me? Is it going to be the seller? Is it going to be the buyer? Um, and I have to sit down or take time to explain to agents is that you as a buyer's agent got paid in the past and will get paid in the future because you show value, not because it's required to compensate you, either the buyer or sellers paying you. It's not you were getting paid a commission because the listing agent said, hey, bring me a buyer and I will pay you. Your whole thing should be that you had value. That's what that you gave to the buyer, that you brought your buyer to the listing, you present, did all the work on the buyer side of things to get that seller to uh, and listing agent to offer you a commission, right? It's not just because you happen to be in the right place at the right time and you have to pay me a commission. I know sometimes agents feel that way, listing agents, but no, you create value for what you're doing. So Again, the whole point of today's uh, video is that you have to make sure you're creating value because our commission might be up for discussion more between sellers on why they should be compensating buyer's agents to when you bring in a buyer, you're asking for commission. One other thing to say, legality, a little legal ease is that you as a buyer's agent can ask for a commission from a seller in your contract, as long as your buyer is agreeable. If your buyer wants you to uh, ask for you to be compensated in the contract from the listing to the listing agent, to the seller, you can do that. Hopefully that made sense. So it doesn't matter what just in, at least in Ohio, that I know of is that even if the listing agent is offering zero commission to you, you could ask 
for commission in the contract as long as it's, all parties agree to it and it's fully disclosed. So with that being said, I tell agents, you shouldn't have to worry too much, even if this changes our industry a little bit of being 100% transparent of how much the sellers are offering buyers agents. If some companies, if some sellers, if some list listings offer less than what you think your value is, if they're offering 1%, a half a percent, nothing, and that you are creating value and bringing your buyer to the table and what you're going to do from that point to closing, that you could ask to be compensated for that. So you have to show value. What are you going to do? Just because you brought a buyer to the table and to, to the house, you have to show value in what you're going to do. Now, I know and the other thing too is when I have agents asking, uh, you know, do you, uh, you know, 30 years I've been in the business. So many, been a broker for over 25 years and have different, you know, uh, been training and coaching and helping agents for decades. And this always comes up in different times of technology and websites and uh, disruptors in the real estate business. Are, are we going to be needed in the future as agents? And this is what I, I always say. Yes, <laughs> they need us. You, how many of you, anybody watching this has had a easy deal where you could have said, well, no, the buyer and seller uh, would have easily been able to do this on their own. They didn't need us as a listing. They didn't need us as a buyer's agent. So many times, I, more times, uh, many more times than I, I might even heard, well, maybe, as if H said that there's no way these most of the transactions would have occurred if a, the buyer's agent wasn't helping a buyer search for houses, showing houses, risking their time, risking their energy, uh, or investing their time, sorry, investing their energy for free until that buyer found a house. If that aid, though, if us as buyer's agents don't do all of that to start showing value, these transactions would have, wouldn't even have happened. You know, how many buyer's agents out there say, yeah, I found them that house. I, I put them on a search. They wouldn't have gotten in there. We wouldn't have gotten without my negotiation skills, without our, our urgency, without our my relationship with the other agent and helping uh, get the transaction together and from start to finish. The point of being that's value. That's value the buyer's agents, that's value the listing agents showed their clients, the seller, the buyer, that why we are involved in making this happen. And of course, I always just go back down to the statistics. 95% of real people who sell their house use a realtor. Only 5% on average every year are for sale by owners or uh, individual to individual and that 5% could be new construction, could be all different kinds of things, not just for sale by owners. So I would think of for sale by owners, from what I see in the st statistics, are much lower than 5%, because again, this is new construction, people selling their house to their family or friends or someone they know. So it's even lower than that. There's no industry that has 95% capture rate that just disappears in and there's in a year or two years or three years or or uh, as far as I know, there's no industry that has a captured 95% of the country and disappears because we show value. They don't want, they want to use us. So I'll leave it to this, create value. Make sure you are comfortable knowing your value. Make sure you have this written down. You live it, learn it, know it off the top of your head. When someone says to you, why should I use you to buy a house? You should have everything right there automatically. Don't have to fumble. What's your value? What do you, what makes you different than the competition? Why should, and when you're a listing agent, why should a seller pay you? When you present that listing agreement, you should live it, learn it, breathe it that it's in your blood of the value you give to earn that commission, not just because I'm going to sell your house or I throw it on the MLS or a buyer's age just saying, well, I'm going to run you around forever. And anytime you want me to show you a house, there's got to be so much more depth to that. And I think we're going to have to, as agents, uh, hone that in 
and understand that more because again, part of this video is because it, very soon it's going to become more apparent of of flexibility with some commissions and who pays who, but you got to make sure you're ready saying you're paying me this because of all of this, the value. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, reach out to me, call, text, email me anytime. I'm happy to go over this more in detail with you and discuss. I love talking real estate too, too much sometimes, <laughs> all day long, every day. Uh, so I love discussing it, debating, discussing, thinking, uh, brainstorming. So that's it. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.